hi guys welcome back to the channel it's been a minute and Merry Christmas now today is the 1st of December since whilst we're taking this video today I've got a video I want to show you a cooking video of some of our traditional African food I have got before I go further, guys, please subscribe, share with your family our videos and watch the ads. I'm going to show you the dry meat I've got. The I mind, Don't mind about this. I'm not advertising. It's just that I bought this beef uh, from the uh, butchery there. It comes in this pack. It's all dry meat. My hands are clean. It's just dry meat, as you can see. So today, I was just thinking of doing a small video and I thought let me make a traditional uh, dish, Zimbabwean dish for us. I've got some vegetables cut here already. As you can see, they come as this. Look, nice and fresh vegetables. Rape vegetables, that's what we call them. I don't know whether they are the same as uh, Sukuma Wiki in Kenya, but they are rape. The Asians, they call them SAG, S-A-A-G, if I'm not mistaken. So that's what I'm going to do, but mind you, I'm just showing you these ones. I've already got my vegetables here cut finely, as you can see. And that meat, I was just showing you, I'll put this away, because I've already got some. It takes a little while to cook, so I had already boiled the meat. Let me show you. Just cut it up into pieces, reasonable size of pieces. It's, uh, it's dry beef that I've boiled. It was just dried with salt. So I've boiled this already. And we put that aside. And I've got some peanut butter that we are going to use for this dish. And some tomatoes, already chopped tomatoes I kept in the fridge. As you can see, that we're going to use. So now we need to put our stove on. And we need, we need a little bit of salt and some water. So now we're going to put a bit of water in the pot to cook the vegetables. Let's put some of the vegetables in here. We need to boil the vegetables first. I might not use all of them because that's rather a bit too much. So I think this will, be, will do with the amount of meat that I've got. So what we do is we put this here and we put some tomatoes because I'm going to use peanut butter. So we put a bit of tomatoes. Just measure the amount you think is going to be enough for you. And we're going to boil our... Now we're going to put our cooker on. We're going to boil these tomatoes and veggies. Until they are cooked, we put a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And where is the lid? Now we're going to put the lid. Let it cook and boil until all the vegetables are cooked before we can add the peanut butter and we're going to make this with some maize meal today or some they call it ugali in Kenya it's best served with the white maize meal I prefer it with the white maize meal some they make the brown one or the West Africans they call it fufu but I like it with the white maize meal that's what we are going to do remember we're doing the traditional Zimbabwean meal African dish let's leave it for a while to cook I want to show you the vegetables they are now cooked as you can see all cooked with the tomatoes and let me add a little bit more water because it doesn't look like it's enough now we're going to put our peanut butter, smooth peanut butter, into the peanut, into the, I don't put a lot in one go, 
because I don't want it to be too much. You need to mix the paste. I think we put sorry, we put a little bit more butter, peanut butter. It's better to put a little at a time because you don't want it too thick and it's not good when it's too much. My grandmother used to do this a lot when we were young. It's now we are appreciating this Zimbabwean meals in the diaspora now. And then, as you can see how it's looking like, it might be a bit watery. Let's see after we add the meat. Now we're going to, because the meat was cooked already, we're going to add the beef. It's all dry beef. Then we mix it in with our vegetables. Hold on. That looks yummy. Beef in peanut butter soup with vegetables. Then we leave them to cook. I think we might need to add a little bit more. No, I think that's fine. I like this. Hold on. I want to test for some salt. Just a bit more. And then we mix whilst we cook, whilst the peanut butter is cooking. minutes three four minutes put just a little bit of oil cooking oil just a bit so but otherwise the peanut the cooking oil is optional you don't really have to imagine living in the rural areas sometimes they don't get to have the cooking oil so it's still fine without the cooking oil but I've some people they just prefer having the cooking oil. Leave it to cook for a few minutes. Then in the meantime we put the kettle on for our sadza to cook. Now we're going to, I put a little bit of water in the cold water and we're going to make a paste with this a little bit of maize meal. We make a paste Let's put a little bit more. We're going to make a paste like that. Then we add some hot water. Now we are going to make our sadza. Make it like thick porridge so that it can boil for a few minutes. So. I always add a little bit, not much, just a little bit of salt because I want it has got no taste, no flavor. So I just put just a touch of salt just for a little bit of flavor in the maize meal. Once it starts boiling, we cover it and let it simmer or let it boil for a few minutes before we finish it off. Let's see. I hope I put enough. Once it starts boiling, then we'll cover it and leave it to boil for a few minutes. Like that. Let's 
yeah now after about 10 minutes of boiling we're now going to finish off our maize meal with my wooden spoon okay it doesn't take long usually once you start adding more mealy meal it does not take long but this has got a special technique I think I have been trying to teach my kids they have not been able to do it properly like the way we were taught back in the days so we do it make sure that all the maize meal is mixed together before you add some more it's always advisable to add a little at a time otherwise it will be too thick like a brick and we don't want it to be that thick as in southern africa we don't eat it that thick see i think that's just about enough maize meal now i need to keep on doing this until it's all cooked the way I'm doing it we have a special spoon for this that we use but I prefer using this let me show you it's meant to be this kind of stick that you're supposed to use but because the pot I'm, I'm cooking is a very small pot so that spoon is actually big that's why I prefer to use a small wooden spoon cook for cooking vegetables things like that but otherwise you can see now it's quite thick enough but you need to keep stirring it until all the maize meal you've put in it's all cooked you can see it with the you can tell from the texture once it's all cooked all the lumps should go from the maize meal that you've added I would not add more usually I leave it like this lower the cooker down to three and then I just tidy up my I like cleaning the excess maize meal oops sorry I just like cleaning it so that it's clean that's it leave it for a few minutes before we dish yeah now after 10 minutes you have to mix it again you can see now it's cooked it's almost done Let's finish it off. I always test. Mm -hmm. It's all cooked. As you can see, let's just stir it again. You can tell from the, you know, when you're mixing it, that that comes off out of it. That's when you know. That's how my grandma taught me that the maize meal is cooked. I'm going to dish it the traditional way. Usually we've got a special spoon for this, but I'm just going to use this. That you use to dish. That should be just about enough Believe it. and we've got our vegetables that we've prepared with meat and 
peanut butter soup. Oops. I'm not making a mess. You can hardly see the meat. There you are, guys. Now you enjoy. Let me just wipe this. It's all done, you can see. It's nicely done. You can now have this. Let's have with some vegetables. Mmm. It's a must try, guys. Very simple, delicious meal, African meal, with just peanut butter. So, I'll see you in my next videos. Please don't forget to like, watch, and subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next one. Bye.